Somerset's Lewis Gregory grabbed the seventh five-wicket haul of his career on the first dramatic day of the LV County Championship match with Middlesex at Merchant Taylor's School in Northwood. James Franklin batted first after winning the toss, but his side lost Joe Burns in the game's seventh over as Gregory began well by finding the edge of the Australians' bat. Burns' opening partner Sam Robson began to find some form on the last day of the draw match with Nottinghamshire last week and he looked somewhere near his best again after a recent lean spell. He played the most fluent innings of the day to get his side off to a good start. This is a game that Middlesex could really do with winning to add some pressure on the championship leaders Yorkshire. Nick Compton steadied things against his former county by getting to 18. But he then had to retire hurt after he took a fearful crack on the side of the helmet off a Jamie Overton delivery. There was some concern as David Milan came out to replace him to help out Robson, who must have been concerned with what he witnessed from the non-striker's end. Not that anything really affected the former England man who was at a fine 50 off only 67 balls. That was his 8th 4 and he found the boundary with his next delivery as well as Middlesex reached three figures with only a few concerns. Milan, fresh from his career best 182 last week in Nottingham, helped take the total to 124. Only to lose Robson for 67 at the other end, a slightly loose shot off Tim Grunewald being held at point by Johan Myberg. Owen Morgan then came and went in a hurry, edging his fifth delivery from Grunewald into the hands of Jim Allenby in the slips to lead the home team on 128 for three. With the exception of the Robson-Compton-Milan combination, Middlesex couldn't make any really notable partnerships. Franklin had added 26 with Milan when he was plumb in front to Gregory for 17 at 154 for four. The next stand offered something similar. John Simpson, the latest man to make a start in partnership with Milan, who just like at Trent Bridge last week was holding the innings together. Perhaps it was that kind of surface when a batsman never felt fully at ease. Simpson had made 24 when he nicked off to Grunewald, who was having a good day with the ball now. It was Milan who was the one man of the day to really grit it out, and he deserved his hard-working half-century, which came off 139 deliveries and was reached with the left-handers 8-4. He's in prime form right now, and Somerset really needed to see the back of him before too long. He and Ollie Rayner earned their team a batting bonus point, but they could really have done with a few more. These two took the total to 248 to be on the verge of a second one, their partnership realising 56 runs before, crucially, it was ended just before the second new ball was due. Peter Trigo found some movement through the air and was rewarded for bowling full, winning an LBW to finally get shot of Milan after four hours of trying, his 69 using up 183 deliveries overall. Then, just after a second batting point had been earned, Gurnevald, now with the second new cherry, won another LBW appeal. Rayner now on his way for a breezy 31. Bravely, Compton then returned to the crease with a score on 256 for 7, having spent a while in the nets. Everyone was happy to see him out there again and to see a man determined to get some important runs for his team. He'd added 14 more to his earlier tally to get to 32. When he became the fourth leg before victim of the day, he left with a good crowd appreciating his brave efforts. It was an important wicket too towards the end of the day as Somerset then finished the innings off without conceding another run. Next ball, Tim Murta edged to Marcus Truscothic before Gregory grabbed a third wicket in the space of only four balls by bowling last man Stephen Finn, who was a little unlucky. Gregory finished with figures of 5 for 58, while Grunewald bagged 4 for 55, as Middlesex were dismissed for 283. How good that total is will only be determined once Somerset have a bat, but there appears to be plenty of encouragement for the quicks, and Finn will want to remind his England teammates what they missed on day two at a ground which is close to the place where he was raised.